Uh, Piper, sign on for the next two seasons. How excited are you to be, uh, to be sticking around for the for next couple of years? Yeah, super excited. Um, I think I've always been at Perth. I kind of don't know any different, to be honest. And um, to be here in front of my friends, family, um, with the group of players that we have is super exciting. And um, hopefully we can replicate what we did a couple of seasons ago and, um, you know, do really well in the season com coming up. Uh, you've, been, you've been with the club since WBBL01, sort of one of the only, one of the two originals, if you like. Um, what is it about the, the playing group and the sort of team culture that wants you to keep coming back and, and play for the Scorchers? Yeah, so I've done all my seasons at um, the Scorchers now, and I think it's just a really family feel club, to be honest. Um, we've got a really good tie with the, the staff here at the WACA, with the men's program. Um, and what we're building in, in the women's program is really strong. We're keeping our core group together now for the last couple of seasons and um, it feels like we're building something really special. Uh, you've been a consistent performer over a long period of time. What do you think it is within your game that's allowed you to, to keep taking wickets and performing so strongly over a long period of time? I think um, I've obviously had to just evolve with the times, to be honest. Like, um, Looking back when I was a bit younger, I didn't really have too much variation going on in the last couple of seasons. Um, I've kind of had to, to stay in the team, to um, try and be as consistent as I can be and um, working on different deliveries, watching loads of different cricket and um, you know, just learning more about the tactics and the strategies of, of the game. And um, hopefully if I can keep doing that, keep trying to be better, um, be super consistent, then that will put me in good stead. Uh, as, as we've sort of said, like, you know, you're one of the more experienced players in the lineup. Do you feel yourself taking more of a leadership role now than more than probably ever before? I think just naturally, as you get older, um, you kind of act as a bit more of a, a leader, um, particularly with all the young, young girls coming in. Um, but I just keep being myself, to be honest. Um, be true to how I want to play. Um, be true to how I am as, as a person. Um, try and really encourage everyone, um, as well as myself, be, be confident in how I play and um, whatever happens out on the pitch happens on the pitch. Uh, we've got some, you mentioned some of those younger players, we've got you know, the likes of Lily Mills, Karis Becker, Amy Edgar, Maddie Dark coming through. Um, how exciting is it to watch their development and is it sort of something that motivates you to keep on top of your game? Yeah, all the young girls coming through are doing super well. Um, they've been really consistent over the last couple seasons as well. So I think just watching how good they're getting really quickly um, pushes, pushes the older ones to, to keep evolving, keep changing our game, um, finding new little tweaks that, that I can do to, to up it with them um, because it's super exciting. Just having a, a fresh um, feel around the group in the last couple seasons and everyone really striving to be better. Uh, you had a really good season last year, taking 11 wickets. Um, was there anything that you sort of worked on to sort of improve your T20 output um, between WBBL 7 and 8? Um, last season for me, honestly, it was just more of a mindset thing. I, I went into the season trying to take wickets and, and make runs when I got my opportunity. And um, I was fortunate enough that um, sometimes the luck went, went in my favour. And it was just about going out there and I was really clear at the top of my mark. I was committing to what I wanted to do and just literally bowl the ball. Um, and have a lot of fun out there while I'm doing it. I think for me, when I'm enjoying my cricket, um, you know, particularly playing here in front of friends and family, um, it brings out the best of me. Uh, you were a part of uh, our WBBL 7 title win. Um, how special was that feeling um, to play in front of, you know, 15,000 plus fans of the state? What, what, experience, what was that experience like for yourself? Yeah, that was, that was awesome. Um, playing the final at Optus, um, like I said, in front of friends, family, it was a really, really nice atmosphere. Um, I would love if we could push finals this year and kind of replicate what we did that, that year. Um, the feel around the group that whole season was, was awesome and um, we've got a pretty similar core group of players together, so. Uh, returning to the WACA ground this year is our sort of full-time home. Um, how keen are you and the girls to make this this ground a, a fortress and make it really tough for opposition teams to come here and play? Yeah, we love playing at the Wacker. Um, what we've been able to do in the past when we've played here is make it a really tough place for people to come and, and play us here. Um, so 
now we've got all of our, our games here, I think it's going to be super exciting um, to put on a show, really use the conditions um, in our favour and kind of replicate what the men used to, used to do here. Um, if we can put our own little stamp on it, I think that's going to be awesome for us. Uh, it's Becky's first season as Scorchers coach. She's obviously know her really well as WA coach. What, what is she going to bring to the fold and um, how nice is it for the group to have consistency across both WA and the Scorchers program? Yeah, Becky's awesome. She, I think the biggest thing that she does for, for us as a group and me personally is just play the way that um, I want to play, that this group wants to play, which is really brave and fearless cricket. Um, you know, playing to the conditions, but playing in the way that we want to play, which is super aggressive, attacking. Um, she always says to us, if, if we're they're playing our game how we want to play it and it doesn't work out, then that's completely fine. And um, she's big on the culture and the family of this group as well, which we're, we're working really hard at all of our values and um, bringing them into um, the season on and off the pitch. Uh, the WBBL draft's coming off the weekend. Um, how exciting is it to, to have the overseas draft as part of the WBBL this season? And is there anyone in particular that the Scorchers should be going for this, this week? <laughs> Yeah, the, the draft is um, an awesome addition to the um, WBBL, I think. It's who knows what the Scorchers are going to do. Obviously, there's some big decisions there um, that the powers above decide that. So um, I think it's super exciting. Whoever we do um, end up with, I, I hope that they're going to be a great addition to the Scorchers. And last one, what should the Scorchers fans expect to see from our WBBL team this summer? What's the, what's the primary goal? Oh, I think playing an incredibly exciting brand of cricket, I think um, out there enjoying ourselves, a smile on our face, um, taking care of one another, engaging with the crowd, I think if we can do all of those things then the cricket's just going to take care of itself. Beautiful.